Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. Will the odds be in your favor while watching this film? My review of The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, coming up now. After surviving and causing major controversy in last year's Hunger Games, Katniss and Peeta are forced to compete yet again, this time in the 75th anniversary of the game. So what did I think of the Hunger Games catching fire? I thought it's a likable, well-made sequel. The film is really divided into two halves. The first being the Victory Tour, where the two main characters visit the, all the other districts and have to face some of the families of the kids that died the year before. Some of these scenes can get rather emotional and even intense. There's also more rebellion against the government and more romance with its love triangle as well. The other half is the games, of course, which takes place on an island this time around and always stays exciting and interesting. Also, the story and tone seem darker here. Some of the things I enjoyed most about this movie were the new characters that were introduced. The cast, both old and new, all give great performances, including Jennifer Lawrence reprising her role as Katniss Everdeen, who's really become a sign of hope for everyone and is forced to compete yet again. Josh Hutcherson as Peta Malark, Katniss's on-again, off-again friend, who is also thrown back into the games, and Liam Hemsworth as Gale, Katniss's childhood friend who's also in love with her. Additionally, Woody Harrelson as Haymitch and Elizabeth Banks as Effie, Katniss and uh, Peta's advisors, Lenny Kravitz as Cinna, Katniss's designer and good friend, and Donald Sutherland as the heinous President Snow all reprised their roles as well. Joining the cast are Jenna Malone as Johanna, Sam Clayfin as Finnick, and Jeffrey Wright as BT, all former survivors of the game, and Philip Seymour Hoffman as Plutarch, the new game designer. The Hunger Games Catching Fire does have a few slower moments in the first hour and a half, but does manage to light up the screen and does a nice job setting up the next film. I'm going to give it the rating of A-List Approved. It gets the A-List seal of approval. So if you want to check out The Hunger Games Catching Fire for yourself, you can by getting your ass down to a theater near you. Until next time, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Check out some other videos. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on the Twitter, and of course you can buy my book, The A-List Review 2012 Movie Yearbook. Over 140 reviews, only $10. Contact me through Facebook or Twitter if you're interested. Until next time, Troop out.